No. Uh, tonight we'll be we're gonna be making carbonara because uh, few people asked, and uh, people actually tend to think that uh, this is a very complicated or complex recipe. Well, the flavors might be complex, uh, but the recipe itself is not complicated at all. And uh, this is a very, very simple recipe, and it takes a very short time to cook. And these are the main ingredients. We have pecorino cheese, okay, so sheep's milk cheese. We have guanciale, or the pig's jowl, the chick cured garlic, just to flavor the oil, to give some, uh, you know, fragrance, aroma to the oil and to the base, and then of course the eggs and pasta. Pasta, I don't want to show the name, you know, just in case, so we don't get in trouble. And of course the tools that we're going to be using is this frying pan, the pot of water. The water is almost boiling, you have to bring it to a roiling, rolling boil before you add salt. And then basically the idea here is to cook this pasta uh, within about 10 minutes uh, so the time it takes pasta to cook, all right, you say you see right here, undici minuti, eleven minutes. The time it takes pasta to cook will take us to prepare the base, okay? And then we mix everything up, and we make beautiful creamy uh, carbonara. You see five eggs here because we are four people, so we put four eggs plus one one egg yolk, and of course you're gonna see you're gonna see it done now in a second. So let's. Before we, before we throw pasta in the water, let's get our frying pan going. Let's put some uh, olive oil. We never cook with extra virgin olive oil because extra virgin olive oil burns very, very fast. So we use, we use a combination of uh, extra virgin oil and the regular Now, we're not going to cut this video, we're not going to edit this video, so you, you're looking at exactly the same thing as we're looking right now. Alright, let's put the trash here for now. Okay, so pasta is in. So we'll start with one chana. Let's cut it first in this manageable pieces, cut off all outer parts, okay, outside, comes in contact with with people and uh, air and dust, so we don't want to cook this, we don't want to have it in our sauce, and of course the skin is thick and tough, it's not going to cook, you can cook it for hours, it's going to remain tough, so we're going to discard it. We're going to cut it in this Pretty, you know, large chunks. They don't have to be uniform, but of course, if they're about the same size, it helps because they're all gonna cook at the same time. As we cut them, we throw them in the oil. And now we can turn down the heat because we don't want to burn garlic. Once you burn garlic, you might as well throw everything away and start over because garlic, burnt garlic flavor spoils everything. We're gonna discard this. Pieces are pretty big, but they're gonna reduce a little bit in size. And here we have another piece of skin that we can throw away. Okay. All right, so this is going, this way I have to keep an eye on it because guanciale burns really fast and garlic burns really fast. So garlic, we can remove it in a couple of seconds. We're gonna turn pasta so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the, of the pot and we're gonna leave it like that. Now, what we do now, we take the eggs and prepare the egg mixture directly in the bowl that we're going to use to serve this pasta. Okay, 
This is very easy this way. Now don't find the kids. Hey, my love. Yay! This, as I said, we're going to use egg yolk only. All right, then we're going to put this away. <laughs> okay, so we forgot one very important thing. We forgot to add salt to water. Don't make it too salty because guanciale is pretty salty. And uh, we can always adjust the saltiness. We can always add salt, but we cannot remove salt. Beat the eggs. We can turn up the heat just a little bit. Beat the eggs. Beat them until they're nice, nice and creamy. Then we're gonna take our cheese grate and we're gonna grate guanciale pretty large. We're gonna actually combine, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do long slices like that, and then we're gonna grate it as we would do with Parmesan, for example. All right, of course, this pecor pecorino is not Parmesan. This is ship's milk cheese. It has a very, very strong flavor. Very interesting flavor. And yes, complex once again, complex, but not the recipe itself is not complicated at all. Now, you can add as little or as much as you wish, all depends on your personal preference. And then at the end of the of, uh, of the process, you always keep a little piece of cheese and you always keep a little bit of pasta water, okay? So if your sauce comes out too thick, you can thin it out with the pasta water. And if it comes out too thin, you can always thicken it using your cheese. All right, let's see how that looks. Looks gorgeous, but we're gonna add a little bit more cheese. And then we're gonna turn our attention to guanciale, because guanciale, some pieces, are beginning to burn. Okay, now we're gonna remove the garlic because garlic is gonna burn. We don't want that. We're gonna turn our pasta. We're gonna, we're not gonna add any black pepper tonight into this mixture because kids don't really appreciate black pepper. But we're gonna add a little bit more cheese just to make it extra creamy. This is, you know, some people use young cheese, some people use older cheese, I mean, uh, harder cheese. You know, it totally depends on your personal preference, okay? For example, for cacio and pepe, it's much better to use younger cheese because it gives you creamier sauce. For this recipe here, it is totally up to you. You see, guanciale begins to smoke, so we're going to remove it. We're going to remove it. And actually, we can turn the heat off completely. This is nice and crispy. If we don't remove it now, it's gonna burn completely because guanciale burns in an instant. In the blink of an eye, it turns from perfectly fine slice of meat into a charred piece of 
cold, so let's take it off. Take it all out. But we'll leave the oil, all right? We're gonna leave the oil because the oil is gonna help us finish cook our pasta. All right. And one more piece, and that's it. We're gonna leave it off for now. We're gonna keep our meat right there, our protein, our guanciale, and we're gonna turn our attention to pasta now. Now, you're cooking for yourself, you're cooking for your family, so don't be afraid to go in with your hands. The hands are, of course, clean, washed, right? For two years they've been teaching us to wash our hands now. So, yeah, it's, it's coming along nicely. It's almost, it's almost done, believe it or not. And you see how easy it is, okay? Now, uh, we're gonna remove our pasta from this pot and put it in the frying pan using this, okay? We're gonna keep all the water we need. If you're not sure if your water is salty enough, you can always dip your finger very quickly and lick it. Check for saltiness. Don't be afraid to do this, okay? Don't be afraid to get burned in the kitchen. Because if you are, you might as well stay in the living room in front of your TV. Pasta has to be al dente. It's gonna, it's gonna finish cooking in the frying pan. Pasta is perfect. We're gonna turn on the heat underneath our frying pan. And we're gonna start removing our pasta. All right. and salty water in case we need to thin out our pasta sauce all right if it sticks don't be shy help yourself with a spatula go right in there and pick it all up all right so all this oil all this grease all this fat from one chale goes you know deep into the pasta penetrates deep because that's the flavor all right that's your flavor you don't want to waste any of this and of course if you can't eat fatty foods you can discard it you can discard it you can use an alternative you know healthier option but in our family we don't like to waste things so we go right in there all right Whoa, this is your pasta, all right? So pasta is almost ready and it's very hot. So we're gonna dump it right in here. We're gonna turn it off. Okay, nice and sizzly. And we're gonna dump the pasta inside the egg cheese mixture. Okay, not the other way around, but this way here. And mix it. Mix it thoroughly. This way pasta is going to melt the cheese, it's going to cook the eggs, and it's going to be nice and creamy. Again, if it's too thick, we can always add a little bit of pasta water. If it's too thin, we can always add cheese. So now we can really go in messy. If we drop a couple of pieces, no problem. Here, you know, five second rule applies. Make it 30 second rule. <laughs> Pick it up and eat it. It's your floor. It's your germs. All right. Okay. You see, there's still some egg on the bottom. All right. So it's not fully cooked. So that means we have to turn a little bit more and a little bit more and more and more. And we're almost there. All right. We're almost at the right consistency. It's creamy. It's tasty, it's not too salty. All 
and when you plate it it's gonna take a couple of seconds to to cool off and the sauce is gonna thicken even more so this is the pasta that you eat right off the stove all right you don't waste any time literally a couple of seconds and it's ready to eat so let me plate it for you let me show you what it looks like in the plate Nice and creamy, you see? This is your carbonara. Italian recipe made possible thanks to American soldiers who had bacon and dried eggs in their rations. Done.